I first year video. <laughs> Dude, can you remember a start where you've been in that much control? Uh, I felt like I had good control today. Uh, in the last few weeks, I've been commanding the fastball and off pretty well. And I think tonight, you know, we just mixed it up really well and just continue to show good things. How much did it mean? Oh, it meant a lot to be close to home. I mean, I had a lot of family that got to come out to this game where, you know, when we're playing at Ole Miss and leaving back in Knoxville, it's hard for them to make it out. So, you know, grandparents and uh, aunt and uncle and cousins and stuff, they all get to come out. So, it was, you know, great to get to come out and just pitch in front of my family. Obviously, a pretty good lineup over there. What do you think you guys were able to do all weekend? Yeah, we just we mix it up really well on them. I think we, we started them off. Uh, I know today we, I started them off with a lot of off speeds, um, kind of, you know, just like last week, but, you know, just really got them on their edge, you know, never let them get settle into the box, you know, kept, keep, kept them guessing the entire time. So I'm trying to remember back to your recruitment, did Vandy play a part in it at all? I know you were, you committed here, but, but did they get in there at all? Vandy never, we talked maybe once or twice, but never, never anything really serious. So it was mainly all Knoxville and all South Georgia. When you came out for the eighth, did you know you were going back out there for the ninth? I wanted to, I wasn't going to let him take me out. You know, obviously it's his, his choice, but I told him I was ready to go back out for, for the ninth. It's so, it, like throwing with a guy like Cortland, making the plays that, that he made all weekend. Oh, it's great. I mean, knowing I have the confidence in my defense behind me, I can throw anything. They put the bat on the ball, and somebody's going to be able to make the play. I mean, C. Scott made a great play against the wall in left field. Gilbert made some you know, really you know, nice reads on balls in center and getting to them. You know, he makes them look easy, but that's, that's a hard ball to go get on those low line drives. And the rest of the infield, Jarrell made some really good plays. Trey's made good plays all weekend. So, you know, even and then Cortland, I mean, he makes he's been making every play. So, you know, keep it up, and you know, it's great. Really good confidence for back there. Your coach yeah. said, uh, your coach said that he figured you would be a weekend starter someday when he couldn't say he recruited you, but some guys accelerate their time How did you accelerate your time? Correct, yeah. I mean, my goal going into the year was just to be a, a reliever, you know, come in and do my part. And then we had uh, some injuries and stuff, and some you know, shoes were needed to be filled. And I think I, I stepped up, and coach gave me the opportunity and ran with it. You mentioned the last time you threw a complete game. You remember the last time you threw a complete game? It, High I mean, school? Maybe yeah. even like your sophomore year? I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> maybe summer ball, you know, but uh, it's, it's been a very long time. Toy is next, let me speak. You mentioned being happy with Knox Hill, and that's where you wanted to go, but is there any extra motivation pitching against these guys, considering that they're just the college in your backyard, basically? I mean, yeah, there's all, I mean, it's an SEC opponent. There's always, you know, that extra. You know, that extra, you know, intensity whenever you're playing a good team like that. I mean, they're one of the best teams in the country. And so, yeah, it made, you know, it made it a little more fun to be, you know, close to home. You know, I had some friends that got to watch it and stuff like that. So, you know, it makes it a little more special, but it's still an SEC ball game. You still got to do your thing. So. Seems like you and the Chases really don't drop off at all as the game goes on. Why is that? Uh, we just, you know, conditioning, you know, strength, uh, you know, our strength and conditioning stuff. You know, we stay, you know, we're in pretty good shape. We aren't take care of our arms, you know, you know, like after we pitch, we're going to go do arm care and stuff like that. Everything's taken seriously. And uh, just like the other two, we, we take it seriously every single day. You know, we have a routine and we stick to it. You guys took that number one ranking coming into this week everywhere. What did it mean to come in and put on this performance after getting that rank? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome getting uh, a number one next to your name, but it's, you know, it's no different. You still got to put the uniform on. Just because you have a one next to your name doesn't mean you're going to do any better. So you just got to keep grinding every day and do, do your job. Do you guys do better anyway? You know, that's for other people to tell, I guess. You know, I feel like we went out there and played our ball. You know, the best ball is still to come from us. So we'll see it. Drew, as, as good as y'all have been the, the weekend starters, knowing that the light has come back, does that, how do you keep that from kind of creeping into your mind about, you know, he's got to get, he, he might get in there somewhere? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for Blood. I'm happy that he's back. And if he does, like I, I've said, if he comes back and, you know, works his spot and he, you know, rightfully takes Sunday something back from me, then, you know, I'll go take my relief throw and do whatever I can to make the team better. So it really doesn't bother me too much that, uh, you know, he's getting back on the mound and it's actually, it's good for the team. we got another great arm coming back. So, you know, I'm really ready for it. How does your arm feel at this point, just not pitching your junior or senior year of high school? Are there any conversations with coaches about maybe still taking it easy or you just full go at this point? Full go at the point right now. I mean, uh, we took, I took rehab really slow and really, you know, took a lot of precaution with it. So I never, you know, never rushed anything in rehab knowing that I had plenty of time. I had more than more than enough time to get back. 
So uh, I'm pretty full steam right now. How do you make sure you don't run into that freshman wall? Say that again. How do you make sure you don't run into that freshman wall? Just never, never overthink things. Just keep doing your thing. What was it? What was the specific injury? Uh, I had a partial tear in my UCL, so I didn't have the full time to be gone, but I had a uh, the repair. Thanks, Drew. Thanks, Drew.